Here we are at Pioneer RV Park at Whitehorse. It hasn't been a good day for us. Um, we did just find out when we got here that my surge protector was the issue. It wasn't inside Wanda. It was the freaking surge protector. So because of these, these kind neighbors over here, <laughs> who sent me to an RV shop down the road. I got a new surge protector. Let me tell you, highway robbery. I was almost $300. No. Seriously? Seriously. What does it mean, a goal? <laughs> Holy moly. And I know I can get that at Amazon for about 150. I got, I got one out of a garage sale for $10. <laughs> and it works just fine. <laughs> anyway. I would have sold it to you for $25. I would have bought it. <laughs> we now have a brand new surge protector. It is 50 amp. And hopefully this one doesn't burn out like the other one did. Um, Mark now has my old surge protector. So it wasn't us having all the electrical issue. <laughs> so it wasn't us, it wasn't the parks, it was apparently our own surge protectors that was having the issue. And when we got here, poor Walter. He, he fell, oh my god, now I'm laughing. He fell flat on his face handing me the red bucket because we were too far over so I had to move the whole thing over and and detach the truck so he was trying to be very helpful God bless his soul uh, it's not very coordinated to begin with he tripped on the electrical cord and the sewer hose fell flat on his face He's now all scratched up over here in his forehead and his lip and face. Now he looked like I, I beat him up. I didn't. He fell. So I'm probably going to get the brunt of this from the other RVers that, that I beat him up. I just hope he doesn't have a concussion. We'll know by tomorrow. Uh, so it hasn't been a good day. And we haven't showered yet. So we're hoping <laughs> Walter's in the shower right now. Again, not a good day. We had a really good lunch at Haynes Junction though, which is a good thing. Okay. Hopefully this solves all our electrical issues. So it may not have been the two parks. It may not have been their fault. It may have been our fault. So. Anyway, I'm babbling. Again, we're here at Whitehorse, the same RV park. We're only here overnight and we are going to have dinner with Phil and Mary and they're kind enough to drive us and told us that we didn't have to unhitch but we actually had to. Okay. So that's the update right you want now. To copy it out? Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, please. Okay. Hopefully we said the same thing. Uh oh, <laughs> I think it means yes. <laughs> oh, here's our air stream, people. Okay, this is the first time we're filling the propane tank. Okay. <laughs> Fill it up by weight, apparently. Ano kayo sa Pinas? Ano yun? Sa kayo sa Pinas? Sa Manila? Ah. Paco? Kami, Bisaya, Cebu. Oh, Cebu! Hmm. Mabuti doon.
ng 8 pounds para maging full. Tapat na lang natin. Ayun. Oh, that's simple. Okay, now I know how to do it. <laughs> 